Welcome to Healthy Habits. Today, we will be talking all about cholesterol. Before we begin, we need to understand the distinction between good and bad cholesterol. There are two types, high-density lipoprotein HDL and low-density lipoprotein LDL. HDL is considered good cholesterol, while LDL is considered bad. This is because HDL carries cholesterol to your liver, where it can be removed from your bloodstream before it builds up in your arteries. LDL takes cholesterol directly to your arteries. This can result in a plaque buildup that can cause heart attack and strokes. Now we know the difference. Let's begin discussing the foods that lower cholesterol levels. First, we have oats. An easy first step to lowering your cholesterol is having a bowl of oatmeal for breakfast. It gives you one to two grams of soluble fiber. Soluble fiber found in oats helps to reduce the absorption of cholesterol into your body. Current evidence suggests daily oatmeal intake can lower cholesterol in five to six weeks. Next, we have beans. Beans are especially rich in soluble fiber. They also take a while for the body to digest, meaning you feel full for longer after a meal. They range from kidney beans to lentils, garbanzo, and beyond. Beans are a very versatile food. A cup of beans contains about four grams of cholesterol-lowering fiber. Studies show one portion of beans a day over a six-week period was able to lower cholesterol by five percent. Next, we have okra. The high fiber content is good for controlling cholesterol. Researchers have found that a gel in okra called mucilage can help lower cholesterol. This is done by binding to it during digestion. This helps cholesterol leave the body through stool. Next, we have avocado. Avocados are a good source of nutrients as well as monounsaturated fatty acids. Consuming avocados can regulate levels of HDL cholesterol and LDL cholesterol. One cup or 150 grams. Of avocado contains 14.7 grams of monounsaturated fats, which can reduce cholesterol levels and lower the risk of heart disease and strokes. Next, we have olive oil. Olive oil is packed full of beneficial antioxidants that can lower your bad LDL cholesterol, while leaving your good HDL cholesterol untouched. This makes olive oil a healthier alternative when cooking and frying. Next, we have pears. Pears are rich in pectin, a soluble fiber which is also found in oats and beans. Pectin helps to reduce cholesterol absorption. It helps to lower LDL cholesterol as well. One pear contains approximately three gram of soluble fiber. Next, we have fish. Fatty fish is the best type of fish for lowering cholesterol because of its high levels of omega-3 fatty acids. Which can reduce blood pressure and risk of developing blood clots. Examples include salmon, tuna, mackerel, sardines. Omega-3 fatty acids don't affect LDL cholesterol levels, but may help lower triglycerides and increase HDL, the good cholesterol. Next, we have nuts. Nuts are a good source of unsaturated fats, which can help lower LDL cholesterol levels. Nuts are also rich in fiber. Which helps keep the body from absorbing cholesterol. Examples include almonds, hazelnuts, peanuts, and pecans. These may reduce your risk of heart disease. Avoid salted or sugar-coated nuts. These add unnecessary sodium and calories. All foods mentioned are beneficial for heart health. They are a source of soluble fiber and monounsaturated fats. Which are imperative if trying to lower cholesterol or trying to minimize risk of heart disease. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content from Healthy Habits.